Well, hello there. Uh, my name is Mingmi Duet. For today, we're gonna be discussing about general, uh, basic combat. Or, you know, a semi-advanced learning in combat. It isn't gonna be easy until you actually play the game and get to know about your weapon. So, first of all, what you needed to do is get a trainer. I mean, a NPC trainer. If you have a sword, go talk to Reyes. Or, if you have something else, then go to Threlo.com. I'll be posting the Trello link below so that you guys could see it again so that you wouldn't go that much far off thinking what the hell is he saying. So, even if what we're going to talk now is going to be the sword, the base sword, which is going to be sword which the most basic thing that you'll have after you join the game you'll have a spear you have a push dagger you have your axe you have your sight and then your great sword to the three that the last three that i talk about i think there are some requirements uh you know it costs you 350 coins to get them and then decide you need to get 15 kills uh, to get 350 coins as well, and then you need to go for a great sword for 350 as well. Which is absolutely insane, and much more better to get. Uh, gotta say, it's absolutely... The hitbox of great sword is much more complex, or it's much more easier to see, simpler to see, and then the sight is random. We have the axe. Axe is somewhere between a moderate sight or a moderate use kind of a weapon because not a lot of people uses it. Sometimes it requires balance into the game. And I see it. It's kind of like being somewhere being rare. And then we have push dagger to being the second top of axe, which is like 19 volts as well, which is a much more comprehensive thing that we have right now. Kind of similar to this, but the spear, on the other hand, is somewhere around moderate thing. It do have its own OP or, you know, overpowered uh, moves. And having a one-sided one -sided attack or four-sided attack and much more, much more good to see. And then we have the three. Uh, the three uh, poles that we have is the sword. The third is sword uh, for 41 votes. Yes, it's really cool and it's really OP to be to be honest because you started with that weapon and it's much more delicate to use. So we have the great sword as well, a 47 review, kind of similar to having the sight over to the top and those two great sword and sight is somewhat similar, but having a great sword is a hitbox management. If if you have that hitbox management, then You'll win a game. You win. You win it. Uh, not gonna lie, you know. And then we have the sight, which is like a very, very random hitbox. And if you hit it like a medium size hitbox, then you'll be golden. And if you know how to use it, then you're pretty much set. So what we're gonna be talking through now is going for the move set of uh, one of the one of the uses that I have is the sight trainer. The move that I have is Vestigial Spread and then Curse Reap. Uh, Curse Reap is just like a heavy one giant sweep for all will do damage to the uh, opponent. So which is basically like an AOE damage effect. And we have the Vestigial Spread which could stun an enemy which is a, pre a pretty good use of combo extender. Much more better combo extender, to be honest. So now we'll talk about um, the combat here. The combat is much more simpler, to be exact. Uh, if you are fighting a monster, then you can go for a attack and then dash, attack, dash, attack, dash. And if you have a magic or spells, you can use it. Especially Kadea is really good. Uh, Ruin um, is really good if you have like a, you're fighting around the edges of the map or something like like basically you're gonna fall or you're gonna die really easily and then we have uh, Preya for like very very straightforward attack 
I don't have it because I'm using right now is OTA. I'm trying to practice it and eh, somewhere really good. Not gonna not gonna lie. And then we have Vonzo. So Vonzo is really really that uh thing that could close up the enemy and you could really really get a good combo after that if you hit that first shot. After you're done with that one, you'll move on to having a health boost. Uh, we'll talk about Runic Shield right now. Runic Shield is really, really that um, somewhere else I nullifies a single spell. So probably if you really, really manages that one, and it's like a counter attack move, but it doesn't really have a counter attack move. <laughs> Like something a block move right there. So that, that's a free block right there. A much more simpler, but yeah, yeah, that's what that's, that's really what it is right now. And then what we have right now is face your fears. And if you get this quest right to be exactly at the first stages of the game, like level one. Just to clarify things, okay? Uh levels in this game doesn't really matter. You know? It's good for prestiging, but it's not good for your health points because every time you level up, it doesn't really matter. It's based on how good you are at the game and how good you are at your weapon. The meta right now is sight, so which is somewhere being based off edgy, edgy kids. <laughs> and then we have great sword. Great sword is really good, and I don't use that sword <laughs> to be honest. Uh it's just it's just really really not good. It's not it's just the simple thing that you'll ever have. And having to really balance it out. You can't combo in the game really much because people will dodge your attack and if you have face your fears, you're gonna gain a lot of health as well. A moderate added health in your uh you know, in your help help points it isn't that a lot it isn't that much either it's like moderate so yeah uh to fight an enemy you need to go for uh 3m ones and then heavy uh, if you have a sight go for r if they are really really close to you or pushing ahead of you and if you have a mana or somewhere a mana base form then you could go for a Aure or Vonzol first and then go for Kadea and then Preya so that you could get close to your enemy very very fast and then if he's really really pushing you you could use your Ruinum so that you could actually push him away so yeah yeah that's basically it it's really really simple to be honest uh, the site is okay i want to use another weapon but i try to use the great sword as well it really depends on what you like the most it isn't gonna be the same as being somewhere as being good at it and if you're really really good at the sword then you know you, you could go for a 5 5v1 or 1v5 you could kill a lot of people so yeah so you guys it this what i'm saying right now doesn't really matter okay it's up to you on how you use your weapon and how just be unpredictable as much as you could so that you could defeat your enemy as much it isn't gonna be faster it really depends on your patience okay you guys have fun today i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll leave down the trailer link below i really saw if I'm really sorry if this is like really really long because the topic right now is like people are being being voted uh what do you call this again having that uh debate right now that people are trying to go for that specific sword that specific things you don't need those things you just need to get better at it and then you'll move on to the to the things that you like if you like PvE, then go for a much more better hitbox. And if you don't like PvE, then go for a great sword. Like, if you like something, if you like a sword that's really meant to you, then go for it. Why do you need to argue about it? <laughs> yeah, for the next one, we'll be talking about the uh, unique altars. 
So I'm gonna be showing you guys and then I'll be showing you the place. And yeah. I'll see you guys next time.